want to talk a little bit about toxins. This is Dr. Mayfield coming to you from MindYourHealthCast.com and our broadcast, FreeDoCast.com forward slash MindYourHealthCast. Uh, today, I just want to talk to you for a couple moments about toxins. And you might say, what are toxins? Well, toxins are poisons. Poisons are things that your body doesn't like very well. And where do they come from? Well, they can come from all kinds of sources out and in. Uh, for a moment, we're just going to talk about those that come from within, uh, meaning those related to digestion and elimination, or lack of elimination, as the case might be. When you take food into your system, it has to be broken down, and it has to be broken down properly. Now, there are many times when it doesn't happen, and when it doesn't happen properly, you generate a lot of toxins, i.e. poisons. Those are not so good for your body. In fact, they interfere with the way your body works. And if your body can't get rid of them by the best routes, it's probably going to push them out through your skin. And you're going to have some really ugly looking skin. And everybody's going to say, ooh what's going on with that person's skin? <laughs> so, but why does that happen? Well, especially when it comes to breaking down proteins, meats, uh, there are some people who probably shouldn't eat much meat. In fact, they shouldn't. And that's something you could find out by going to one of our broadcasts or coming to our website. However, if you are eating meat and it doesn't break down properly, then it's likely that uh, you may have some kind of digestive issue. Now, I'm sure if you've been watching your local TV or your national TV or any TV, you're going to see that um, they're talking about things like reflux, heartburn, GERD, and all of those very fashionable terms. And so it's true that people are experiencing a lot of that. There's a reason for that. But what you're going to hear on there is that this is a problem with hyperacidity. And therefore, you're going to rot away your esophagus if you don't do something to stop that. And... What would you do to stop that? <laughs> well, they have an answer. Their answer is, and I have to put on my rose-colored glasses because their answer is the purple pill. The purple pill, you must immediately dash to your friendly doctor and he's going to prescribe for you this purple pill. And what's this purple pill going to do? Why, it's a proton pump inhibitor. And what does that mean? That means it's going to turn off any acid in your stomach. Now, what happens when you turn off the acid in your stomach? You're going to feel better, right? Yeah, you'll probably feel better, but you're going to be sicker because you're not going to break down the proteins because the acid is extremely important to break down protein before it gets into the small intestine because if you don't, it becomes a toxin, a poison. Now, if you give somebody hydrochloric acid extra, it'll stop the GERD, reflux, heartburn, etc., etc., and therefore kind of throws a wrench in the gears that too much acid is the problem. Actually, it's too little acid, but when you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to put a lot of poisons into your body, those poisons called tomains, which are proteins that ferment or rot in your system because they didn't get broken down properly. Anyhow, if you want to find out more about the poisons, the toxins, the tomains, come to our uh, website, come to our broadcast, and find out about it. Don't forget, mindyourhealthcast.com we'll and or freedocast.com slash mindyourhealthcast. It was nice to see you again.